Marilyn Monroe, the most famous blonde bombshell of the 20th century, not only made a tremendous impact on popular culture, but she also left her mark on the hearts of many a man, and reportedly even a few women. Monroe dated a mind-boggling number of partners throughout her relatively limited time on planet Earth. Sadly, the public never got a chance to see her finally settle down, as the Grim Reaper swept her away at the age of 36 after overdosing on barbiturates. Her marriages to retired baseball legend Joe DiMaggio and playwright Arthur Miller were highly publicized, and both of these tumultuous unions were short-lived and ended in divorce. And you can't talk about Monroe's love life without mentioning her supposed affairs with JFK and brother Robert. In this video, we'll take a closer look at these and some of the other relationships Marilyn was involved in. Jim Doherty When Monroe was 16 and still going by her birth name, Norma Jean Baker, she married Jim Doherty, one of her classmates at Van Nuys High School. The two walked down the aisle in 1942, and while the marriage started fairly happy, it began to fall apart when Doherty joined the Merchant Marines and Marilyn began modeling. By 1946, just four years after exchanging vows, the couple filed for divorce. Years later, in 1976, Doherty told People magazine if he hadn't joined the Merchant Marines during WW2, he believed he and Monroe would still have been together. Charlie Chaplin Jr. It's rumored Marilyn and the legendary silent film star's son, Charlie Jr., had a fling in 1947. Their relationship supposedly came to an end when Charlie caught Monroe fooling around in his brother's bed. In Chaplin's 1960 autobiography, he referenced this affair. Anthony Summers likewise made a mention of it in his book, Goddess, The Secret Lives of Marilyn Monroe. John F. Kennedy JFK and Marilyn Monroe reportedly got close and cozy in 62 while Kennedy was married to Jackie O. A friend of Frank Sinatra, Tony Upadisano, told People magazine in 2021 that JFK and Marilyn's affair was purely sexual, as Monroe didn't want to break up his marriage. Accounts of Monroe's affairs with the Kennedy brothers have been reported in books, interviews, and news stories for decades. But there's very little, if any, concrete evidence to support these claims. But just watching the footage of Marilyn singing her very enthusiastic rendition of Happy Birthday to the late president in 1962 speaks volumes about the kind of relationship they had. It's very obvious Monroe harbored a tremendous amount of attraction for the Kennedys, and it wouldn't take that much of a stretch to the imagination to picture the two sharing some after-hours one-on-one time together. Hey, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to give it a like and subscribe to Facts First for more. And stick around for more about Marilyn's lovers. Robert Kennedy Supposedly, after ending her relationship with JFK, Monroe got intimate with his brother Robert sometime in the mid-60s. Milton Berle this comedian and Marilyn first met while on the set of the 1948 film Ladies of the Chorus. Even though he was officially courting starlet Adele Jurgens at the time, Burl was the one who came out and revealed that he and the young up-and-coming actress had been involved with each other. Burl has been called the first superstar of the age of television. He and Monroe even starred in the 1960 film Let's Make Love Together, a pretty appropriate name given the context. Natasha Lytus Monroe met Lytus, her drama instructor and lifelong friend, when she signed to Columbia Pictures in 1948. After meeting, the two became closer than peas in a pot. And while it's based purely on speculation, it's thought that the two enjoyed a romantic relationship as well. Monroe grew so dependent on Lytus, she refused to shoot scenes without her presence. The rumor mill only continued to pump out stories speculating the nature of their relationship after Monroe moved into Lytus's home in 1952 to prepare for her role in the film Don't Bother to Knock. Eyebrows were further raised when Lytus became openly hostile to Monroe's male partners, Joe DiMaggio in particular. She was very protective of her bestie and didn't want to see anyone hurt her. Was this merely a best friend looking out for her platonic pal, or was there something deeper at play? We may never know. Monroe's Other Alleged Female Romances Rumors persisted for years that Monroe was either bisexual or an outright lesbian. Other women she supposedly had been entangled with include Barbara Stanwyck and Marlene Dietrich. 
Monroe herself touched on the issue in her 1954 autobiography, in which she revealed that a man who had kissed her once before had told her she might have been a lesbian because apparently she had little response to males. And by males, he meant himself. When he told her that, she was still trying to figure herself out. But according to what she wrote in that book, after she'd fallen in love for the first time, she finally knew what she was, and that wasn't a lesbian. Even so, it is possible Marilyn wrote this as a means to deflect these persistent rumors. Elia Kazan Kazan has been called one of Tinseltown's all-time greatest directors. He had admitted to having a brief affair with Monroe while he was still married to his wife, Molly Thatcher, a playwright famous for writing plays such as Rosemary, The Alligator, and The Egghead. The world learned of this affair when letters between Kazan and his wife were unearthed that revealed he had very little shame for getting involved with her. In these pieces of private correspondence, he said that at the time of their romance, Monroe was what he called a little stray cat, and nothing like the star she would later become. Joe DiMaggio Jumpin' Joe and Marilyn Monroe were introduced on a blind date in 1952. He later referred to her as a double-play combo. She was not only stunningly beautiful, but DiMaggio also found her to be quite charming. He had high hopes of her someday mothering his children and becoming a more traditional homemaker. Monroe likewise had longed for a stable home and children and became infatuated by the legendary baseball player. She respected him for the fact that he hadn't tried to make a pass at her right off the bat. She admired him for how he treated her like she was something special. The two lovebirds tied the knot on January 14, 1954, in a low-key ceremony at San Francisco's City Hall. But unfortunately, problems immediately arose when Joe, who was used to being the center of attention, became jealous of his new wife's rapid rising fame. The couple ended up divorcing later that year in October, just nine months after their wedding day. Monroe later revealed that the straw that broke the camel's back was her infamous skirt fluttering scene in The Seven Year Itch. Joe was furious she would show off so much of her body and wasn't going to tolerate it. But even though they split, DiMaggio and Monroe remained close friends until Marilyn's death. Until his death in 1999, Joe would reportedly visit Marilyn's grave three times a week. Marlon Brando Monroe and Brando were two of the most famed actors of their era, and the two were rumored to have dated in 1955, shortly after Marilyn and Joe DiMaggio parted ways. Arthur Miller Marilyn said it was love at first sight when she met playwright Arthur Miller on the set of the 1950 film As Young As You Feel. But even though they shared mutual attraction, the two didn't meet back up until 1955, after Marilyn and DiMaggio's divorce had been finalized and she'd moved to the Big Apple. After a brief and clandestine courtship, the two were married in 1956. Marilyn said Arthur was the first man she'd ever fallen in love with. She loved how serious he was while still having a great sense of humor. While it seemed at first like Monroe was flourishing away from the chaos that was Hollywood, eventually her and Miller's relationship began to sour. Monroe's substance abuse issues created serious problems both on set and back at home. Not long before the 1961 film The Misfits premiered, she and Miller filed for divorce. Frank Sinatra Old Blue Eyes was one of the most noteworthy relationships of Marilyn's short life, even though the two only briefly dated after her divorce from Arthur Miller. Marilyn stayed at the rubber tree plant crooner's house for a spell after moving back to Hollywood. Their romance, however, cooled by 1961 when Sinatra got engaged to Juliet Prowse. Even though they didn't keep their romantic flame alive, Sinatra and Monroe remained close friends until her death. Jerry Lewis. In an interview with GQ in 2011, the since-deceased comedian revealed he had had a secret romance with Monroe around the same time many people believe she had been involved with JFK. Lewis further claimed he knew for certain Monroe had never been involved with JFK in the first place. Now it's time to hear from you. Were you surprised about any of the names on this list? Let us know in the comment section below. And before you go, make sure you give this video a like and subscribe to Facts First if you haven't already. Click the bell icon to stay updated on all our latest content.